proof by deduction is all about going through a logical sequence of arguments where you will start with something that you know to be true and subsequently if that is true then this next thing is true and if that's true then the next bit is true and if that's true then our conjecture is true. So we are going to formulate a logical argument, be it algebraically or just through words, to show that the conjecture must be true. So here is our conjecture for this example. Uh, the sum of any two consecutive odd numbers is a multiple of four. Well, in order to prove that, we first of all need some form of representing an odd number. Because if I just write down the number n, where n is a, a whole number, then n could be either even or odd. Now I can make it even by sticking a 2 in front, because now I've got something that is a multiple of 2, and I know that any multiple of 2 is an even number. So 2n, regardless of what n is, will always be even. So if that's always even, I can make it odd by just adding 1 to it. Because I know that 3 plus 1, or 101 plus 1, or 175 plus 1, will always be even. Just adding 1 to an even number will make it odd. So this is definitely an odd number and always will be regardless of the value of n. Now if I'm looking for the consecutive odd number, the next one along, then I've got to really think about what that number is because if I add 1 to it, if that was odd, then the next one must be even because I'm just going along the number line. So if I add another 1 to it, I will arrive at the next odd number. So you could kind of think of this as being 3 when n is 1, and this one being 5 when n is 1. OK? So this is the next odd number along. Now the conjecture talks about the sum of any two consecutive odd numbers. So these represent any two consecutive odd numbers, and if it's the sum, I'm adding them together. So I've got 2n and 2n, that makes 4n, and I've got the 1 and the 3, that makes 4. So I have now something that I can factorise, because I can factor the 4 out of a single bracket. Now the n is any whole number, so n plus 1 is a whole number, and so clearly 4 is a factor of our number. So regardless of whichever odd numbers you start with, if you add, uh, to, regardless of any two consecutive odd numbers that you start with, rather, if you add them together, we definitely get a number that has 4 as a factor, and so it must be a multiple of 4. So which is a multiple of 4. So you can see we started with logically thinking about what an odd number was, how we could write it down, and then we added them together because it told us the sum, and then we used factorising to get there. So we used a logical sequence to get to our final result, which proves the conjecture. So... This is quite a short example, and we'll go through some more examples of this in the next video. But if I'm going to pick out anything that would be really useful going forward, well, it was that understanding that 2n was always going to be even. So you can write an even number, uh, an example of an even number, as 2n. And then you can write an example of an odd number as 2n plus 1. So that consecutive ones will be like that. Okay, that's a really useful thing to remember, so I definitely make a note of it.